In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five hanging options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I have created a bar at the top and when I click very fast, it will show you the first option. So you can just uh, change the speed according to your requirement. So this hanging option, option number one. Uh, with the icon and one reflection here and at the bottom you can add some detailed text so when I click it will show you the second option with different color combination the third option fourth and fifth so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 version to do this however with the older version also it is possible to do it so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white then align center align middle i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here and then i'm going to give a shadow effect here so go to the shape effects shadow and i'm going to give this shadow effect offset bottom left then hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit and put it here still i can reduce the size a little bit more all right so it looks something like this so once this is done i'm going to add one more oval shape go to insert shapes add one more oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here and maybe this much size i'm going to give it shape outline no outline i'm going to give a gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape select gradient fill here basically there will be four stops but i have used in the background that's the reason it is showing too but anyway no problem so first stop i'm going to select go to more colors you can just choose any color combination good color combination maybe i'm going to choose this color and here second stop i'm going to choose maybe this orange color so you can see here this color combination the direction i'm going to change it to say this one which is the diagonal like this all right so depending on your requirement how much the you want darker at the bottom you can play with this one you can increase or decrease this one all right and to make it more glossy effect i'm going to add one more oval shape all right so you can see here one more oval shape i'm adding shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and go to the soft adjust sorry effects soft adjust and increase the size and then put it here so you can see here it has created one a glossy effect here if you want you can rotate a little bit and we'll put it here all right so once this is done i'm going to insert text box and number one increase the size and make the font as white and put it here all right if you want you can increase further maybe to 60 will be better or 54 and then press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to say option all right and this option i'm going to reduce the size maybe 28 or less than that you can see here this is the first option all right so once this is done you can add some uh, shadow effect or you can add some uh, reflection so i'm going to select all press ctrl g to group it then go to the effects you can see the reflection presets whichever reflection you need you can just choose that reflection all right so i'm just going to select this one and move it here all right and i'm going to add one bar at the top where it will hang so select the shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle from one end to another end shape outline no outline and i'm going to select the gradient fill the gradient fill one stop i'm going to give a black color another stop i'm going to give some light gray color and again the third one i'm going to give some dark color so it looks something like this you can see here now i'm going to add one more uh, shape which is the hollow circle draw the hollow circle maybe like this let me just zoom in 
okay so you can see here it should be like this shape outline make it no outline and this part i'm going to cut it so go to insert shapes select the rectangle and exactly this one i'm going to cut it so select this circle first hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and subtract so it looks something like this okay shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select this the bar go to the home and then i'm going to choose the format painter and click on this so it looks something like this so again i'm just going to put it exactly in the center of this and then i'm going to connect this with one line okay you can see here one line shape outline you can make it more thicker and you can give some dotted line here and shape outline you can give some dark gray color so this is the first option and at the bottom you can add the detail text add detail text here all right so you can see here you can add some detail text so once this is done it's easy for us to replicate this one so i'm going to select all okay hold the control shift key and just drag it now this one i want to make it pull down so i'm just going to bring this one here select this and pull this down you can see here like this now again if you want the third one i'm going to select again hold the control shift key put it here and then this one i would like to make it more top you can see here like this and bring the text also closer to this one so likewise you can add four five six different options and it's very easy for us to change the color so i don't want this color i want some different color i'm going to the stop one go to more colors maybe i'm going to give uh, some color combination of uh, say uh, this color dark blue with some other teal color so it looks something like this can you see here so this is my second option this is my third option all right so once this is done what we need to do is we have to group this one so i'm just selecting all you can see here and press ctrl g all means only the options don't select all okay like this press ctrl g and select like this press ctrl g okay so once this is done i'm selecting all these three options close this one go to the animations animation pane add animation make it fly in fly in it should come from right so you can see here and this should happen on click okay so if i play it comes something like this all right and if you like to give some bounce effect select all this one right mouse click effect options and under bounce and increase this one click ok so it comes something like this right if i play the slideshow the first option the second option the third option